What's up, my beautiful viewers and subscribers? What a go on? Enough respect. Welcome to another video. Now, in today's video, I am going to be continuing with the calculation for the material quantities for this wall structure here, as I've been doing for the past three weeks. Now, thus far, I have calculated the quantities for the excavation. I have calculated the quantities for the backfill. I have calculated the quantities for the number of blocks. And I've also calculated the quantities for the concrete. And in today's video, I am going to be calculating the quantities for the number of steel or the number of rebar that it will take to reinforce this wall structure here. So stay tuned. In order for me to calculate the quantity of steel or the quantity for the reinforcement for this wall structure here, there is certain things that you must observe in detail before you proceed. So first, you must observe the type of bars and the color. So first, we have three different bars here that we are going to be dealing with. So the first one is this vertical bar here. And it is from this height, go all the way down into the footing and comes up like that. So that's the vertical bar. Second, you have to look at the transverse bar and the transverse bar is this bar here this bar and that bar is placed in the tension zone of the concrete footing and is responsible for carrying the weights or the load of the structure third is our longitudinal bar and our longitudinal bar are these bar here that are placed in the footing as the distribution bars or the temperature and shrinkage bars. And also you must look at the vertical longitudinal bars and these are the vertical longitudinal bars. So we have one here, one here, one here, and one here. So therefore we have a total of seven longitudinal bars but three is in the footing and four is in the vertical wall itself now to proceed with the calculation first i'm going to be looking at this bar here the transverse bar and what we have basically is this That is the bar that is in the wall footing as the transverse bar. So we need to get the, or to obtain the total length of this bar. So the total length of this bar is going to be the, the, the length here, plus the length of these two sides here. So to obtain the length from this point onto this point, we I have to go back to the footing. Now the footing have a total width of 1 foot 6 inches. And if you observe the footing in detail, you will see that it has a concrete cover on this side of 2 inches and a concrete cover on the opposite side of 2 inches. So that is a total of 4 inches cover. So the length of this portion here is going to be 18 inches because 1 foot 6 inches is 18 inches minus 4 inches and that works out to be 14 inches. So right away the length of this portion here is 
14 inches. Now we need to obtain the length of this portion here, the, up, the, the portion that turns upright. Now this dimension is always specified by the en engineer more often than not as 9D or 9 times the diameter of steel. 9 times diameter of steel. So, therefore, you go back to the callout and you observe that this callout is a number 4. So, it's number 4 at 16 inches on center. So, what you basically have is a number four. So when you see a number four on your plant set, it is just a half inch steel. So to convert the imperial for your number for your number four is just four divided by eight, and that is half inch. And if you see a five a, a number five bar, it's gonna be five divided by eight. That's a five inch bar. If you see a number six, that is six divided by eight, and that work was to be three quarter inches back. So whenever you see the number, you just divide that by eight and you obtain the, the, the inch or the imperial area of the steel itself. Now, to get this portion here, it is nine times the diameter. So, it is going to be 9 times 0 0.5 inch and that works out to be 4.5 inches. So this portion here from, this, from, from here to here is 4.5 inches. So to obtain the total length of this bar, so total length is equal to 14 inches plus 2 bracket 4.5 inches and that works out to be so this is 14 inches plus 9 inches which works out to be 23 inches or 1 foot and 11 inches or 1.92 feet right so the entire length of this the total length of this rebar is 1.92 feet or 1 foot 11 inches or 23 inches so we have to find out now how much time we have this bar that is placed in the wall footing and if you look at the detail again we see that it has a spacing of 16 inches on center. So to obtain the total number, so the total number of bars is going to equal to the length of wall divided by the spacing of rebar plus one now i want you to pay attention to this so it is the length of the wall divided by the spacing of the rebars plus one to obtain the number of bars and let me explain to you where the plus one comes from so the plus one is really so let's say, for example, this is your, your footing in plan. So this portion here is your one foot six inches, right? Is your one foot six inches. So the length of this portion here, here is 
70 feet which we have been using throughout the 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 calculation of this wall footing we know that the total length of the wall is 70 feet now this this rebar is placed at 16 inches on center so every 16 inch you're going to have one so you're going to have the first 16 inch the second 16 inch the third the fourth the fifth and you continue placing this rebar 16 inches until you get to the end of 70 feet so what you have you have now so these are your 16 inches 16 inches 16 inches 16 inches 16 inches 16 inches but you have to start out with one so you have to place one at the beginning of the reinforcement for this footing so that is where the plus one comes from you have to start out with one and that's where the plus one comes from so therefore the number of bars is going to equal to the length of the wall which is 70 feet divided by the spacing which is 16 inches 16 inches plus one but if you if you look at this we we have the length of the wall in feet and the spacing of the rebars in inches so we can do one of two we can either convert this 70 feet to inches or we can convert this 16 inches to feet to do the calculation but for ease of calculation i'm going to convert this 70 feet into inches so what what we end up have is this 70 bracket 12 divided by 16 plus 1 and that is going to equal to 8 8 840 divided by 16 plus 1 and that is going to equal to 52.5 plus 1 which equal to 53.5 and we can run this up to 54 so we know it's going to take 54 of these transverse bars to place in the wall footing but now we have to calculate the total length of these bars 54 times right so we know that the total length of this bar is 1.92 feet so the total length would equal to the 54 times 1.92 feet which equal to 103.68 feet so there we have calculated the total length for this transverse bar so we get this so we have already calculated for this part so the next step is that we are going to calculate the amount of horizontal part now i'm going to be calculating the longitudinal bars so the longitudinal bars as i've mentioned to you before are these bars here we have three in the footing itself and we have four in the wall itself so the 
longitudinal bars. So let me explain this before I get into it. Now, we know that the length of the wall footing is 70 feet. So we have our one foot six inches here as our width and the length which is 70 feet zero inches. Now a length of steel comes in two different lengths based on my checks. So we have the 9 meter length which works out to be 29 feet and we have the 12 meter length which works out to be 40 feet. But for this exercise we are going to use the longest length of steel which is 40 feet to place in this 70 feet. But if you notice that this length here is 70 feet and one length of steel that we are using that I'm using for this exercise is going to be 40 feet. So you cannot have the steel butting together like this, right? Because you're going to have 40 feet in length and you're going to have a remainder of 30 feet to get to the end of this footing. So the 40 feet and the 30 feet cannot but like this because the, the, that length of 30 feet is not going to be equivalent to a length of steel because we are using a length to be 40 feet. So what you have is this. You are going to have the first length which is 40, well, not so long because this is not to scale. So let's say, for example, your 40 feet comes there, right? And then your 30 feet would come something like this. So this is your 40 feet from this point to this point. Is your 40 feet and then from and then from this point to the end is your 30 feet but what you have you have a lap here so this is going to be a lap and that lap is going to be specified specified more than more than often as 40 d or 40 times the diameter some engineers specified 42 times the diameter some specified to be conservative 50 times the diameter but we are going to use 40 times the diameter for this exercise so this portion here of a distance or length of 40 d 40 times the diameter of steel and we are going to have this three times in the footing one two three. so we have one two three because we have to come back to our one two three and you do not have to worry about laps that the laps are lining up in the foundation because these bars are basically distribution bars they are not doing anything more than distributing the load what you have to concern with is the transverse bars these bars the transverse bars these bars which are carrying the load that is the most important so you can have your lap lining up behind one another in the footing because these bars are distribution bar are otherwise known as the temperature and shrinkage bar so what we have is this situation so we have to calculate now the total length of this longitudinal bar so the total length 
the total length is going to equal to 70 because 40 plus 30 is 70 right 70 feet right plus we have three laps at 40 times the diameter so it's going to be three at 40 d bracket plus 30 feet so that is for this portion here so to make the calculation less time consuming i am going to be calculating the horizontal vert the horizontal bars in the walls in the wall itself these four bars here one two three four so they are going to have similar characteristics as the horizontal bars as the longitudinal bars in the footing so what we have we have one two three four and since they are going to be lap just the same we can just add that to this so we have this supposed to be sorry this supposed to be three times 40 right and this 30 is going to be three right and that is for the 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 the, the, the longitudinal bars in the footing so we can take these four bars here one two three four so we're going to have four at 40 plus four sorry four Four times forty D. Can remember it's one, two, three, four plus thirty feet by four. And when you total this, so this is going to be seven. Seven. So you can just add this thirty and this forty together, and you get seventy feet. So this is going to essentially equal to 70, 7 times 70 feet plus 7, 4 and 3, 7, bracket, 40 times the diameter of steel. Right? So this is going to equal now to 70 times 70. 70 times 7 which is 490 feet plus 7 bracket 40 times the diameter of, of half inch steel which is half inch which is 0 0.5 so that works out to be 490 feet plus 70 times half of 40 is 20 which is so this is going to equal to 490 feet plus 140 inches so yeah this is in inches sorry this is in inches 140 inches because this is 40 times half inch so this works out to be 20 inches so essentially we will have 490 feet plus 140 inches which and you divide that by 12 because we have feet here so we have to convert this 140 feet to inches so we div to two feet so we divide that by 12 so we have 490 plus 11.67 when you divide 12 into 140 the result of that is going to be 11.67 and the total length now is going to equal to 501.67 feet so therefore the total length 
of our seven longitudinal bars. This bar, this bar, this bar, this bar, plus this bar, this bar, this bar, works out to be 501.67 feet. I am going to be working out the quantity for the vertical bar. And the vertical bar is this bar here, this vertical bar here. And it has a representation of this, something like this. So we have to get the total length. And the total length of this bar is this portion plus this portion. And this portion is always specified by the engineer as 9D. Some engineers use different number, but more often than that, you're going to see nine times the diameter, which means nine times the diameter of your half inch steel. Now, we want to obtain the distance from this point here to this point here. So we have to go back to our wall structure here and look at the detail carefully. So if you notice at the top, there is a concrete cover for the reinforcement of two inches. And also at the bottom, there is a concrete cover of two inches. So that is a total of four inches. So the length of this vertical bar is going to equal to the height above the goal line, which is six feet, and the height below the goal line, which is another three feet, and that's a total of nine feet. So I'm going to convert that nine feet into inches for ease of calculation. So that nine inches is going to be worked out as 108 inches. So we're going to plus our 9D, 9 times the diameter, that's so going to be 9 times 0.5, minus 4 inches. And that's for the concrete cover. So this is going to work out to be 108 inches plus 4.5 inches minus 4 inches and that is going to be equivalent to 108.5 inches. Now, 108.5 inches, you can round this up to a 109 inches, and that works out to be 9 feet 1 inch, or 9.08 feet. So the total length, the total length of this vertical wall, of, the, of this vertical reinforcement, is going to be equal to 9.08 feet. But for short, we have already calculated the number of transverse bar to be 54. And we know that every time we have the transverse bar we are going to have this vertical bar attached to it so therefore the number of transverse bar is going to be equal to the number of vertical bars because we do not want to go over back that calculation for time and if you notice the call out for the vertical bar is the same it's the same 16 inches on center so the Total length is going to equal to 9.08 feet multiplied by 54 and that works out to be that that works out to be 490 490.32 feet. Right? So, 
that 490.32 feet is the total amount of rebar length we're going to have for the vertical wall so what we can do now since we have calculated for the vertical bar the transverse bar and the horizontal bars we can now total all of our bars so the vertical bar is going to equal to 490.32 so if we should total all these so what we have is 103.68 plus 501.67 plus 490.32 and that gives us a thousand and ninety five point six seven. Point six seven. So the total length of all our bars is one thousand and ninety five point six seven feet. Now, when you're working out steel reinforcement, you have to take in consideration waste. Some of it is going to waste. So we usually affix a waste factor of five percent to our steel so this we are going to add five percent of this so if we should add five percent of this so we're going to times this by 1.05 and this works out to be 1150 11, 1150.45 feet so our total length is going to be 115.0 feet now in order to calculate the amount of tons of this steel we have to convert this 1150.45 to pounds now half in steel base based on my rebar conversion table and if you want this and you are interested you can download it from the internet just type in rebar conversion table and you will see something like this so you get a copy of it so according to my rebar conversion table half in steels half in steel weigh 0 0.668 pounds per foot that's 0 0.668 pounds per foot so we have to convert this convert 1150.67 to pounds feet by multiplying by 0 0.668 pounds per foot right so when you multiply that 0 0.6668 pounds per foot the result of that is going to be 768.45 pounds right 7.68.45 pounds or you can round this up to let's say 768.50 pounds so if you want to convert this 768.5 pounds to ton you divide by 2205 so 768.50 pounds divided by 2205 is going to equal to 0 0.35 tons 
and that is approximately a third, one third ton of steel. So there we have it. We have gone through a lot of calculation to observe, to obtain the quantity of rebars that is going to be needed to reinforce the wall footing. So that amount of tonnage works out to be 0 0.35 tons. So a ton of steel, I think, is basically, the last time I checked, it was $176,000 per ton. So if you time that 0 0.35, and that $176,000 per ton, you will get the amount of money you have to pay for that amount of steel, half in steel. So that is it for this video. This video has been a long one and I deliberately do the steel calculation in one video because I know that it is going to take a lot of time. So if you like the content, please hit the like button. If you're watching my channel for the first time, please remember to hit the like button as well as subscribe. And in my next video, I'm going to be going over the calculation for the rough cast and rendering as well as the painting. Thank you.